वेलकम टू माय प्रोजेक्ट आइडियाज दिस इज एन ऑनगोइंग सीरीज ऑन एस ए पी यू आई प्रोजेक्ट्स एंड इन दिस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो विल लर्न हाउ टू क्रिएट इंट्रोडक्शन गाइड्स इन एस ए पी यू आई फाइव सो दे आर मैनी इंस्टेंसेज वेयर यू क्रिएट अ न्यू एप्लीकेशन फॉर अ कस्टमर और अ क्लाइंट एंड यू वॉन्ट टू एक्सप्लेन द स्टेप्स और यू वॉन्ट टू क्रिएट अ सेट ऑफ गाइड्स सो दैट द यूजर और क्लाइंट विल बी अवेयर दैट वॉट पर्टिकुलर सेक्शन इज मैंट फॉर वॉट फंक्शनैलिटी and keeping those in minds we create some set of actions so to create these introduction guides there are few prerequisite like you need to have basic knowledge of javascript you need to have ide access for coding so you can use web ide or business application studio and certainly basic knowledge of sap ui5 will be required so let's jump into the coding part so before we discuss coding we have created an article for you in this article we have added screenshot and all the coding that we are going to discuss in this particular video so we have written everything you can just copy and paste and get started with the creation of introduction guides fine so before we create an introduction guides we need to have some layout right so in the view we plan to create a sim simple view something like this where we have a header and with two buttons and then we have a bar for filter so we have some dummy data over here and then we have a table here to have some data and then we have footer with some buttons so now you can see that we have multiple sections right so now multiple sections will include multiple steps so keeping that in mind we have created this view so nothing special we have written in this particular section if i go to controller this is the part where we are actually creating guides so we are using the functionality of a popover so what we do is like on after rendering when the screen is rendered we create a empty set like uh, the hard coded data and hard coded filters are created and uh, we start with introduction so this hard coded uh, set is actually not required because this is for the filters and all but uh, in actual use case you will be having actual data filters so this is the actual section so where we initiate this func functionality or function and within it we have multiple steps like the first button is the profile button then for the logout button we have step So like this we have created an array of objects and initially the step is one right so we keep increasing the step once we click the next button so now we keep getting the length so that you know once the entire uh, functionality is done then we can actually close it out so the same thing we are uh, following here the steps and uh, basically this is the part where we are actually writing the step so step is being written here then we are increasing the step value 1 2 3 4 5 5 and also we are changing the values from this particular steps so first it will be shown showing this part and then this part something like this right and the button is there and one important part is that where the placement will happen so if you see we have something sap placement bottom so ultimately sometimes we will be showing bottom sometime will be showing top so why we want to showcase something like this it is because uh, if we have a element in top the popover will be shown in the bottom pointing it out and if the element is in the bottom we have to show the popover on the top of it right so that our uh, ui and ux remains constant the same thing we have handled here by default we have made it bottom but after some like a particular position and the position is like after the last position is reached we are switching it to top so th this is something we are writing here so if you see if control is in the bottom of the half of the screen show pop over so we switch the overall uh, functionality to top so what actually the, the logic is like getting the height dividing it by 2 and once your uh, length or whatever the position is after this particular height then we'll be switching it out fine so we created a popover and we've created the content and uh, now we can just showcase it to you so we can just refresh and you will see step 1 this is profile button so if i go back to the code this is profile button is taken from here initially the current step was 0 and we increase the length by 1 over here and show in the particular popover fine when we click next 
the same function is triggered once again so if i show where exactly the button is written so it is inside the popover right and uh, we have a button called sap m dot button here and in the function what we are doing we are closing the previous popover increasing the value and also getting the step the next step and uh, there is a something called bind this so when we bind this what happens uh, it is automatically binded to this particular element wherever it is showing so the, the pointing will happen to that button again i click next it is pointing now to this particular search right so how exactly it is getting to know like uh, where i have to point so if you see in the steps we have maintained the ids right so we have profile button log out button search filter this id is actually maintained over view also so if you see search filter is there then for table we have data table here right the same thing we have maintained over here so by the id it is actually you know finding it out where actually i have to point out and those ids are also passed within the, the popover so for which particular id the placement should happen so i believe you have understood uh, the entire concept in case you have any issue you can always uh, write the comment uh, in the comment section below and we'll get back to you with the solution so thank you for watching this video